So in this New York Yankees news and rumors video, I want to talk about some of the latest this 2023-24 MLB offseason and how it pertains to the Yankees in specific. So specifically, uh, talking about the latest Yankees trade rumors, uh, the latest Yankees news regarding free agency, basically all things Yankees. I'm going to be going over in this video. Let's get right into it. So the first New York Yankees news item for today is actually a trade rumor centered around Dylan Cease of the Chicago White Sox. So MLB deadline news on Twitter or X tweet it out. The New York Yankees have expressed interest in Chicago White Sox starting pitcher Dylan Cease per Ken Rosenthal. Now Dylan Cease would actually be a pretty intriguing player to go to the Bronx Bombers now even dating back to last year and even the last couple of years now Dylan Cease's name has been talked about quite a bit um, on the trade market in regards to a potential trade candidate. Uh, Dylan Cease is under team control until 2026 so he has this year as well as the year after under a team friendly contract. So uh, for Dylan Cease financially speaking he could be pretty appealing to a team out there like uh, like the Yankees who are definitely uh, towards the top of the MLB in regards to payroll. Uh, so in regards to, uh, you know, paying a top player a lot of money in free agency, they could save a lot of money and go the trade route and get someone like Dylan Cease uh, uh, under some team control. For the next couple of years now, what's it going to cost them to land Dylan Cease? I would imagine a fairly reasonable haul in return. I think if you are the White Sox, you want to get a little bit younger. Uh, the Yankees have some pretty good young players in their system. So definitely, I think that a trade uh, could be had between these two teams. Dylan Cease as well is just 28 years old. So in regards to uh, sort of the youth dynamic on this Yankees um, team, especially in regards to their starting rotation uh, with players like Carlos Rodon on the wrong side of 30, uh, as well as someone like Garrett Cole, obviously getting uh, not any younger here. I think getting a little bit more youth with Dylan Cease, who's in the prime of his MLB career, might not be a terrible idea. I think Dylan Cease is the number two or number three option in this Yankees rotation would honestly be a pretty good thing uh, for 2024 and beyond. So Dylan sees this past year for the White Sox. It actually wasn't that pretty of a year. So you could possibly be trading for this guy at a bit of a discount. Uh, last year for Dylan sees in Chicago, he put up a 2.4 war season, seven wins, nine losses, an ERA of 4.58. So not super pretty there. Uh, 33 games played, 177 innings pitch, uh, but did have 214 strikeouts. So that's pretty impressive there, uh, but had a whip also of 1.418. So Dylan sees not exactly coming off the best year. So if you are the White Sox perhaps you sort of uh, missed the opportunity to trade away Dylan Cease while his value you know dating back to 2022 was at an all-time high uh, in 2022 Dylan Cease put up a 14 and 8 record uh, with a 2.20 ERA so he doubled his ERA and then some this past year. Uh, he, of course, was also a runner-up for the Cy Young and, it was, and was also in the MVP conversation in 2022. So a bit of a down year for him. And I guess if you are the Yankees, could this be an opportunity for them to buy low a little bit on a player with potential Cy Young upside? It's definitely, in my personal opinion, a, a risk that I'd be worth taking, especially, too, if they want to go after some starting pitching, uh, which some of the news later on will indicate that that's definitely the case. I think going after a player like Dylan Cease could definitely be a good uh, you know, move for this franchise and not cost them a lot of money financially. So shifting gears a little bit to the open market, I want to talk about Blake Snell possibly taking his talent southeast and joining the New York Yankees. Now, uh, Blake Snell made it known a couple days ago that he has quietly expressed interest in joining the Yankees. I guess it's not really any, you know, quiet now because everyone knows about it but a 358 baseball on instagram made a post which is captioned the new york yankees have reportedly shown interest in left-handed pitcher blake snell as they are planning to have quote an active january per john Heyman and andy martino uh, martino noted that blake snell has quote privately expressed interest in playing for the yankees this season so blake snell is probably at this point the best pitching uh player available on the open market i guess you know even heading into this offseason he was probably the number one pitcher on the market as well. Uh, Blake Snell had a phenomenal season this past year for the Padres, uh, winning his second signing of his uh, career. Uh, and also, too, uh, was just overall one of the best pitchers in all of baseball. Uh, Blake Snell this past year for the Padres, despite the Padres not really doing that well, Blake Snell was phenomenal. A 6.0 war season, 14 wins, 9 losses, an ERA of 2.25, 32 games played, 180 innings pitch, uh, 234 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.189. So Blake Snell is going to be 31 years old next year in 2024. So in regards to giving this guy a big time extension or a big time contract, I would be a little bit hesitant on giving this guy term. Uh, first off, he's on the wrong side of 30. But more importantly, Blake Snell prior to this year has been a little bit bit more towards the average side of things a little more inconsistent as well so Blake Snell has had two pretty phenomenal years in his life 
you know, this past year in 2023, resulting in a Cy Young Award, but also to his first Cy Young uh, back in 2018 when he was 21-5 and five and had an ERA of 1.89. That's incredible. So Blake Snell, for the most part, has been more of like a league average pitcher uh, besides these two years. So I guess giving this guy some term and a big time contract could be a little bit risky. So if I'm the Yankees, I would definitely ease on the side of caution with this one. Unless Blake Snell is open to taking a lot of money uh, on more of a shorter term deal with some opt outs, that's probably the only direction that I would go personally speaking. But uh, Blake Snell is a phenomenal pitcher, was obviously one of the best pitchers, about the best pitcher in baseball last year. Uh, and his stats, you know, back the case up. So Blake Snell is going to be deserving of a big time contract. Now, the only question is going to be is it going to be with the New York Yankees? I guess the only time will tell. So now shifting gears a little bit back towards the trade market, I want to talk about another player that has been talked about for the last couple of years now as a possible trade candidate. And that, of course, being uh, Cleveland Guardian starting pitcher Shane Bieber. So a Forbes Sports Money on Twitter or X tweeted out, Shane Bieber could be made available by the Cleveland Guardians and it is possible that the New York Yankees may become involved in trade talks. And if you want to read this uh, more for yourself, there is a link in this tweet as well to goforbs.com. Uh, but uh, yeah, everything's down below in the description of this video in case you, of course, are interested. But uh, yeah, sort of like um, Dylan Cease with the White Sox, I can definitely see Shane Bieber getting traded at some point this offseason. Uh, Shane Bieber is, I believe, heading into the last year of his deal. So sort of unlike uh, Dylan Cease, I guess you only have one year um, of him under contract for this year, but sort of like Juan Soto. I guess if you're the Yankees, you could possibly roll the dice, uh, even if an extension's not in place. I think Shane Bieber could be a nice move uh, for the short term or the long term. Either way, you sort of put it uh, if you're a Yankees fan. Now, Shane Bieber this past year uh, for the Guardians, it was a pretty solid year for him. Not as good as he's put up in the past, uh, sort of like uh, Dylan Cease as well. This year was a bit of a down year for him um, as compared to the year prior in 2022 but this past year for the guardians uh, um, Shane Bieber put up a 1.8 war season, 6 wins, 6 losses, a 3.80 ERA, 21 games played, 128 innings pitched, with 107 strikeouts, and a whip of 1.234. So injuries were a bit of a concern for him this past year. Uh, that's why his numbers were down and his games plays were uh, his games played were down. Uh, but similar to uh, Dylan Cease, he's also 28 years old. Now Shane Bieber's going to be turning 29 uh, this year in 2024. So uh, in regards to getting this guy, uh, you're still getting him in the prime of his career. So if you are the Yankees and you want to make maybe more of a shorter term deal uh, with Shane Bieber, that could be a possibility as well. Perhaps you just try him out for a year. If it doesn't work out, you let him walk for nothing. And if it works out, you give this guy an extension. So to me, personally speaking, if I'm a Yankees fan, which I'm not, I'm a Blue Jays fan. But if I was a Yankees fan, the possibility of getting sort of like a one or a two year rental with Shane Bieber or uh, someone like Dylan Cease definitely has to be appealing for the franchise. Uh, you don't, you know, you're not, you're not committing money long term. And if it doesn't work out, you let these guys walk, whatever the case may be there. But if you're the Yankees, you want to win a championship now. Uh, and I think acquiring a player like Shane Bieber is not going to cost you super high end uh, prospect capital. I would imagine it's still going to cost you quite a bit. Uh, you're going to have to give up some pieces that you probably don't want to give up. But at the end of the day, uh, Shane Bieber makes this rotation better. And the only question to me is not really if he's going to be traded because I think all signs point towards him probably getting traded, but where's he going to be going? So for the final Yankees news item for this video, I want to talk about a player that is a little bit more so on the controversial side, and that is Trevor Bauer, uh, who played last year in the Japanese Baseball League, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so WFAN Sports Radio uh, on Twitter or X tweeted out, Trevor Bauer tells BT and Sal that he would love a chance to pitch for the Mets or with Garrett Cole and the Yankees and has no concerns about handling New York City. Quote, if the last two and a half years haven't knocked me down, there's not much that's going to, or the, 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 there's not that much that's going to. So Trevor Bauer, as I mentioned before, um, a little bit on the controversial side of things. He, of course, is dealing with some lawsuits or dealt with some lawsuits. I'm not 100% sure, actually how the situation has sort of uh, put itself right now. I know that Trevor Bauer was cleared of allegations. I don't really want to go into that, though. I'm uh, not really the point of this video. I just want to talk about him in regards to a baseball player and why this, I guess, could be a good move for the Yankees on the field, but it's going to come with some uh, possible drama off of it. So, 
Trevor Bauer, the last time we saw him in the MLB was in 2021. He was one of the best pitchers in baseball, uh, playing for the Los Angeles Dodgers. He, of course, uh, I do believe won the Cy-, the Cy Young Award back with the Reds in 2020 and signed a pretty big ticket in 2021. Now, he hasn't played in two and a half years due to his suspension um, and his lawsuits, but last year in Japan, uh, Trevor Bauer was pretty phenomenal as well. So in regards to a baseball player, right, Trevor Bauer is going to be 33 years old next year. If you give this guy a one-year contract, the odds of him pitching pretty well and outperforming his contract are pretty high. But as I mentioned before, Trevor Bauer is not everyone's cup of tea. So uh, the Yankees fan base would have to I guess embrace Trevor Bauer, which I'm sure you know some would absolutely, but I'm sure some would not be fans of the team if they were to do this. So it's sort of a PR situation here with Trevor Bauer because of how uh, I guess liked or disliked he is around the MLB and by the fans. So I'm not going to go into it too much because I think Trevor Bauer, uh, from a baseball perspective, is a pretty solid pitcher. He makes whatever team he were to go to better. But the only question would be, how do franchises value the risk versus the reward? Are they going to value his on-field? Per- performance at a discounted price more so than the potential off uh, the field drama and uh, discourse they're going to be dealing with I guess it's sort of one of those things you have to weigh as a franchise so uh, could the Yankees or even the Mets for that matter be interested I guess only time will tell but uh, if you're a fan of Trevor Bauer or you're not a fan of uh, fan of Trevor Bauer but you're a fan of the Yankees. Do you want the team to land them? Yes or no? Leave all your thoughts. So that is going to be it for this video. Thanks again for watching. Make sure to leave all your thoughts down below regarding the Yankees in the comment section of this video as always. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next one.